Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, we are going to use this Casio FX991 EF Plus second edition scientific calculator to do base in calculation of binary decimal hexadecimal and some basic logic calculation using this calculator. Let's get started with this. I'm turning on the calculator. Press this mode button and then base N, 4, I'm pressing 4, and now we are in this screen. This DEC means decimal, so we are in decimal mode. And here we have DEC, hex, binary, octal. All these blue also, these A, B, C, D, E, F are also used for our base calculation. So first we have to know that we cannot convert 3.5 decimal value to binary or anything. So we can do only a whole number. For that, you can use paper and pen or some other tools. Now let's see how we can convert. For example, convert 10110, which is a binary, to decimal. Now, because we want to enter value in binary, we must be in binary. As you can see, we are in decimal. For binary, we press this push button here, BIN, which is log. Now the screen changed to binary and we we can enter binary. I'm pressing 10110 zero, one, one, zero, and after that press equal sign. So the value is in here. If it's not in here, you, you cannot get the result. To convert it to decimal, just press DEC and the value is 22 converted. Now to convert 231 decimal, to binary. First we have to be in decimal, which we are, all clear. I'm pressing this AC. 231 and then equal. Now decimal 231 is here. Now press BIN. Binary and here is the binary value for that. And here, let's say we want to convert A0B1 hex value to decimal. Let's go to hex first. You can see hex here. and for ABC, I'm pressing A and then 0 and then B and then 1, 1. And then press equal sign, so you see A0, B1 here. And then because we want decimal, press DEC. And decimal value is 41,137. The value comes here when you're in binary, the rest is always shown as zero, so they have no meaning unless you have certain length that you uh, care about. For example, this is two, four, this is five, so if you want five bits, you can get up to five and discard the rest because they have no meaning. Anyways, and here we have 272 octal, we want to convert it to decimal, first be in octal, go to OTC, OCT, we are in octal, and then 272 and then press equal sign so it is in here then we want decimal press DEC and the value is 186 in decimal format and some uh, calculator has quinary but this does not have it so we skip and now let's see how we can do some OR calculation and let's say you, uh, you have 1001 we want to or it with 1001 and or gate is this one so if this was the value for this this if this is a and this is b the y the result will be or a or b must be one in order to get one so this or this or one so we get one zero zero there is no one so this will be zero because one of these will have one this will be one and this will be one and here is the answer let's see we have to be in binary let's be in binary first enter the value the first one one zero zero one press shift and then base number three so every time i refer to base i'm referring to number three here it says or press two so it says 1001 or and then enter this value 0101 0101 and then press equal sign and the result is here which we already did. So and then let's say B3A or D5C B3A 
press B and then 3 and then A that's our value and then go shift number 3 which is base or 2 and then D5C D5C so equal and the answer is F7E now let's see AND gate uh, ANDing two values and mean both of these values must be 1 in order to get 1 as you can see 0 1 so this will not be 1 this will not be only this column will be 1 because that's AND gate uh, so let's be in binary first and then 0 1 0 1 shift base and 1 and then 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 and then equal sign and the answer is 1 and let's do the hex value for AND go to hex 3DA 3DA shift number 3 AND 1 E0F E0 and F and then equal sign 20A is the answer XOR is called exclusive OR exclusively one of these must be one not both in this case this will be one because one is one and these two from the top this is zero this is one and this is one and this is the sign for exclusive OR so let's be in so we have to be in binary and zero one one zero shift three three and then one zero one 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 zero one one and then equal and the answer is here not is a bitwise calculation and for example press shift and base uh, three and five not any value do that you do each bit will be reversed for example uh, one zero zero one and if i close it and press equal sign it becomes zero one one zero and all the rest of the zeros will be not or converted to one and here we have this value will be like that and if we do the negate the negate will return the result of a tooth complement for example if you want to negate one zero one zero one let's go shift three and go to negate six and then zero one zero one and now the value have been negated and this is our value depending on number of bits because we are concerned with four bits you get only four bits zero one two three four so the last bit is the sign which has negated this or negative value here to access all my other videos related for this calculator please check the link below the video in the description thank you for watching this was how to use this casio fx 911 es plus second edition scientific calculator if you learned something and found this tutorial useful please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of youtube if you have comment or question please post it in the comment section below i try to answer and reply and make sure to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos function and the area under the curve is this value the unit shift minus 2 plus i that is imaginary for x1 and if i press it again for x2 minus 2 minus i if you want to change it in terms of uh, real and imaginary to look here at at this point it shows minus 2 and